Hey, it's Mr. Malte here. I want to make a quick video today just about Google Sites and the templates that we can use to make it really easy for students to have their own sites if you want to use it for portfolios or for writing. So I just want to show you how that goes. Remember, you can pause these videos and slow them down to all that fun YouTube stuff. So for sites, we actually have templates. I'm going to show you at sites.google.com. That's the Google Sites homepage. And you can look at all the sites you've created, you can make a brand new blank site, but there's also a template gallery. And teachers, you can even put this link into Classroom and have your students go directly to this page. So let's say I want, I've got three um, basic templates that I've put up here. One is a portfolio site for all subject areas for students. One is just a writing site that you can use as a, just a simple blogging sort of platform that uh, Mrs. Kiss is going to use, and one for the teacher who can kind of have all these sites linked. So that's one thing you can do is have all the students' buttons on your page so you can link back to all the student web pages and have this kind of ecosystem. <laughs> so um, you can have templates here. If you have an awesome website that you've created, you could also submit it so Black Gold can use yours as a template. But once students get here, if they want to use one of these templates, they just simply click on it. So we're doing a writing template because we're going to use this as a kind of blogging platform, and they just click on the site, and just like that, they've created a site. It goes to space. Now that our site is created, it's the usual kind of thing. All the insert buttons are on the right-hand side. You can replace the writing I put in there with the student writing. You can always duplicate sections so that they can write You know, the next writing. They can push things down. I've embedded a form here. They'd have to make their own form if you want to do some writing feedback where they could have you know, responses and have that go onto the page. But basically, we're just using this as a place to publish writing. Um, you can add more text boxes. You can just see how these sites work. Um, if you have new, new little block here, you can just click twice and get text boxes in here. Get this little awesome wheel by clicking twice anywhere. You can add images, embed things, add things for your drives. You can embed documents and all kinds of fun stuff. When students are ready to actually share the site, you press publish. And here you can change the address, but you also want to go manage. And you can make it so that Black Gold School Division can see that site and the teacher can actually look at that site. So that's under the manage button when you're publishing the site right there. Right? Black Gold. I'm not actually doing it, but that's where you would publish it. Um, actually, I can publish this really quick just to show you what that's going to look like. Manage, I want Black Gold to see it. Done. Test site. 22. Gives me a little button. I can view the published site. If I want to share this with my teacher, this is the URL I want to use, this published URL. And the teacher could have, you know, a page that has each student name as a button, and you just click on the name and it goes to this link. So you all have your own individual sites. So that's what this website's going to look like. That's really, really easy just to go to sites.google.com, the Google Sites homepage, and use the templates that are already there. So there you go.